As 2023 comes to an end and we enter into 2024, I look back on all the highs and lows of this past hunting season. I started off in Idaho where I was skunked chasing elk, so I turned around, got in the car, and drove straight to Wyoming and tagged out on my first ever pronghorn with a spot in stock. Before the rut kicked in here in Illinois, I got to watch Ramsey shoot a giant 3x3 mule deer in the prairies of Alberta. Of course, once the bucks were running wild, I was in the tree stand every chance that I got, and I even had the opportunity to send a Grim Reaper through a heavy nine, which almost turned into a sob story after I missed him on my first shot. Now, as time is ticking, I only have one more week to fill my last buck tag here in Illinois. And the temperatures have finally dropped. Be careful, don't move, don't move, don't move. guys look at this girl and look at that shot placement I, uh, I'm pretty happy myself 45 yards the Grim Reaper just ate her up I'm shooting about 58 pounds and so that arrow just zipped right into her and I think it hit that other shoulder I'm happy got a doe down I've been trying to kill some does all week long and finally made it happen I'm gonna go and drag this girl out and uh, we're gonna get my knife to work have back straps for dinner excited doe down meat in the freezer Let's get her out, Ramsey. I love bow hunting, guys. <laughs> okay, so I just got these out of the bed of my truck. We just got them sent to us. I'm so excited, but we're gonna set this up on our porch. We are in our new lodge. It's not completely done yet. My mom is back there hiding. <laughs> Repping the Barstool Outdoors hoodie that you can get at store.barstoolsports.com slash outdoors. Get some merch. Get some merch. So this is where Jack and I, who's behind the camera, are going to be living in the springtime, all fall, especially when the bass are about to spawn. We got the lake out back. It's going to be good. We got this solo stove bonfire, fire pit. And so I got this griddle that you know for sure we're going to be out there with our coffee. We're going to be cooking some bacon and eggs over the solo stove is so exciting. So solo stove, I'm excited. I'm gonna go ahead and unpack this while my dad comes. Cause you know, you always gotta wait on Tim Wells, man. It's the tail end of the rut and having filled a tag a week earlier, I decided to film Ramsey for an afternoon sit. I haven't seen very many bucks that have taken my breath away. And as I looked up towards the road, there he was, the biggest typical I have ever personally laid my eyes on. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 
He was smart. With no wind, he crept into the open field, scanning the area before he walked the wrong way and out of my life, or so I thought. so much adrenaline, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. I've had this happen before, once before, with six pack. And this buck is a deer that showed up out of nowhere a month ago. And I didn't think I was gonna get a shot. We have like four days left of season. My last hunt of the year. It was the last one and I got lucky. We had snow on the ground. We knew he was gonna be hungry. Dead! <laughs> Smoked him. You slocked him good, kid. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was shaking before he even got here. I got snot coming down my face. And the buck started to come out. I was shaking. And Dad's like, you gotta chill out. He's not even here yet. And then he got here. I took a deep breath. And I kept my composure. 20 yards. I smoked him. <laughs> I smoked him. <laughs> Uh, uh, let's go on, it's still light, let's go look at him. <laughs> what do you think? I think you both, I think kid, you killed the dude, and you killed my buck again this year. <laughs> killer, you are a killer, girl. Let's go get him. Let's go look at him. There he is. Holy crap! 
He's a dick. He's got some pomation right here. He's beautiful. Just look at his coat. Holy crap. I feel nauseous. I can't really. I don't feel good. Oh my gosh. Look at him. I just am dumbfounded that this just worked out how it did. I honestly did not think that I was gonna get the shot at him. Get lucky enough to be able to be in his presence close up 20 yards. He was smart. He stayed back for a second, scoping out the area. He came in with a herd of deer and he was the leader. Came right out 20 yards. Stood behind a big tree for a second for me, right in front of me. And uh, holy cow, I don't even know what to say. I'm literally speechless because it happened and I didn't think it was gonna happen. And he knew he is this is the first time in my life that I filled both my tags in Illinois. This is the best way to start 2024, to end my deer season. I'm so thankful. I'm so happy. Your biggest typical ever. My biggest typical ever. I'm shaking still. I'm literally speechless. <laughs> I just can't believe it. I'm so, so happy. So I started shaking right away. Dad is like, stop shaking. He's not even out in the field yet. He started laughing at me. I'm like, I can't help it. That's how I am. He stepped out. I was excited, but I started to be pretty calm. The shake stopped. I think I was just ready. You know, I was anticipating him coming. I was ready to put a Grim Reaper in him. I leaned back, get in position. My dad's legs were shaking on my back. I'm like, well, I don't know if, if he's going to be able to handle it. He might have a heart attack and fall out of the tree. He's big. It's pretty exciting. You can see how it's kind of palmated. It's got the mass on him that we love to see. And he's just a stud of a deer that I'm happier. I think this might be my biggest deer I've ever shot, actually. <laughs> <laughs>